Welcome all, welcome back at uh, C Square. In this lesson, we will talk about what is called the standard form of a linear equation. And you notice this is what it is, what the standard form is. You have here three examples with the form where both x and y are on the same side, left side. You see here by taking be both on the right side. And the coefficient, the number, next to x and y and the c the number on the the other side are integers a and b are not both zero and there is one more condition sometime a has to be greater than zero um, a positive number most of the time that's the case like in this case you see here a it's two a it's uh 3 and 5, B, it's 3, negative 4, be careful, positive 7, C, 6, 8, and negative 10. <clears throat> this uh, standard form is very useful, especially if you have it and you want to graph the equation, because you can use what we call x and y intercepts. Uh, to find the x-intercept, you have to uh, make y equals 0 and solve for x. And for finding the y-intercept, you make x equals 0 and solve for y. And you get these two points. This is the y-intercept. This is the x-intercept. And you can graph the line. So uh, let's take a look now. To an example, find the intercept of 2x plus 3y equals 6. And I'm going to start with x-intercept. Remember, x-intercept means y is 0. So the original equation becomes 2x plus 3 times 0 equals 6. 3 times 0, this term will be 0, so we have 2x equals 6, and we're going to solve for x, divide by 2, x equals 3. So the x-intercept, how we call it, is 3 and 0. x is 3 and y is 0. I will suggest you to put always the intercept in this form. And you can plot the point 3 and 0. That means I'm going to go 3 right. Uh, similar, I'm going to find the y-intercept. y-intercept means x equal 0. So we're going to have 2 times 0 plus 3y equal 6. 2 times 0 is 0. So we have left only 3y equals 6, divide by 3, y equals 2. Uh, one more time, it's very important to see this y equals 2 in this form, 0, x is 0, and 2. This is the y-intercept, which is right here. Now we have these two points. We can sketch the graph. You don't need more than two, point, than two points. And these two intercepts are good enough to sketch the graph, which is right here. This is the graph of 2x plus 3y equal 6. A similar example, 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. So I'm going to find the x-intercept which means y equals 0. And we can move a little bit faster. When y is 0, all this term is gone. So we have 3x equals negative 6. Divide by 3, x equals 2. So the point will be 2 and 0, which is right here. Let's find the y-intercept. which means x equals 0. 
Now this term, 3x becomes 0, so we have only negative 2y equals negative 6. I'm going to divide by negative 2 on both sides. And I have y equals uh, positive 3. So that will give us the point. 0 and 3, which is right here. And let me go back to the x-intercept because I have a mistake. Uh, when I divide by 3, this will be negative 2. So the point, in fact, is not this one. And it is this one, zero, uh, negative 2 and 0. So be careful. This is the graph of the given equation. Uh, 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. One more time. Be careful. Don't do mistakes like I did. There are two special cases of linear equation. Horizontal lines and vertical line. Horizontal lines are in this form y equals b. And the vertical lines are in this form x equals a. So you need to be careful. I put a couple of things also here. Horizontal line have a slope of 0 and the y-intercept is 0 and b. Vertical lines have none. no slope undefined. So don't say slope 0 and the x-intercept is a and 0. And you're going to see that in my next example. My next example, I want to graph this y equals negative 2. So I'm going to do a table here. This is x, this is y. And this statement here, y equals negative 2, means the y is negative 2 for any value you have in your mind. You see, I fill with negative 2 the bottom of this table, and I can pick some numbers here. And I'm going to pick negative 1, 0, and 1. But you can pick any other numbers. Let's plot these three points, and I'm going to start with the first one, negative 1 and negative 2. That means I'm going to go 1 left, 2 down. The second one, 0 and negative 2. That means I'm going to go just 2 down from the origin, and the last one, 1 and 2. 1 and negative 2, I'm sorry, 1 right, 2 down. And you see now we have this graph. The very short way to get the graph, think about this negative 2, plot it, and draw a horizontal line. This is y equals negative 2. Uh, the other one, like I said, the vertical line, let's try this example, x equals negative 3. And this one means, and I'm going to move right here, and I'm going to do a vertical table to fit in here, x, y. This means x is negative 3 for any value we have in your, your mind for y. So negative 1, 0, and 1. So now let's plot this point, negative 3 and negative 1. That means I'm going to go 3 left, 1 down, negative 3 and 0. That means just go 3 left and negative 3 and 1, go 3 left, 1 up. And you notice we get this vertical line. And remember a couple things. So for the vertical line, this is the x-intercept, which is equal with the value, negative 3 in this case. The slope of this line is undefined. For the vertical, for the horizontal line, I'm sorry, this is the y-intercept, which is equal with the value, in this case, negative 2. The slope is 0. In this next example I have, you need to write the equation 
of the line show in the picture. So in other words, I have this line. Can I write the equation? And I think you can do it. Just count one, two, three. This point here is three and zero. That means the equation of this line is x equals three. Remember, vertical line x equal. Horizontal line y equal. Similar with this one, we're gonna take a look and identify this point now. This one is zero and two. So the equation of this line is y equals two. Horizontal line. And my last part of this lesson is about uh, graphing some equations that are in standard form. However, like this one, you mean you cannot use the intercepts. They are not friendly. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look a little bit. X intercept means y equals zero. And we get here, you know, y equals zero. This means this, this guy is gone. So I have 4x equals 6, divide by 4, I end up with x equals 6 over 4, or 3 over 2. And the x-intercept is 3 half and 0, which is somewhere here. However, sometimes that is not good enough especially if you have to do uh, your assignment, your graph on an online platform and you cannot plot points like this. So in that case, you wanna do something else. You wanna solve for y and maybe that will solve the problem. So I'm gonna copy again the equation to have more space here. And I'm gonna subtract 4x on both sides to cancel this 4x and I have 3y equals negative 4x plus 6 and the last step divide by 3 I mean it really is not the last step and I have y equals negative 4 over 3x plus 6 over 3 and if you can simplify, do it. In this case, you really want to do it because this 6 over 3 is nothing else than 2. So now, using the slope-intercept form, like I said, right here, y equals mx plus b, we can identify the slope. m is the number that goes next to the x. These negative 4 over 3 and the y-intercept is the number that um, has no x in this case plus 2 just positive 2 and now I can plot oh by the way see this point as an order pair 0 and 2 so I'm going to start with that 0 and 2 which is right here the y-intercept and then I'm going to use this slope negative 4 over 3 rise over run and did you hear what i said i said negative 4 over 3 that is one way to see it of course you can see it as 4 over negative 3 well, i'm going to use this form in this case which tells me go 4 down 1 2 3 4 and 3 right 1 2 3 and with these two points i have the graph of this line and you notice the x-intercept this point I mentioned a, a while ago is right here but like I said sometimes that is not useful special if you have to do some online assignments and you have to solve for y and use the slope intercept form for graphing your equation if you enjoy this lesson, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.